YouTube, what's up, man? It's Mutt Draft season. This is the last week to compete. So, man, if you're in the 200s, if you're in the 500s, wherever you may be in Mutt Draft, make sure you guys grind it out. Get into that top 96. If you're weekend leaguers, man, I think the top 32 weekend leagues for the month or for two months, I don't know what it is, but if you're a, a god on weekend league, you should be qualified. Oh, but like I said, man, that's what I'm playing is Mutt Draft. This is a 10-minute gameplay. Give you guys a quick gameplay. I know we've been going back and forth, man. A lot of you guys like the full breakdowns, 40 minutes, but also still give you time to put, pop every once in a while, pop you with a 10-minute gameplay. That way you can watch them get in and out, man. Any offense, defense, man, is definitely part of a uh, Madden turf. You can hit that link below, man. My ebook's live. My defensive ebook's live. The Skimbo ebook is live. Make sure you check it out. Obviously, Mutt Draft is different. You got to use kind of a different playbook every season. So there's really not a set, you know, ebook to run on this type of mode. Pretty much, I'm just sticking to Bunch, you know, because at the end of the day, Bunch is pretty much still the best formation in the game, man. But like I said, if you want to watch any of these games live, the link is below to my Twitch. That is where we stream the games live. Also, man, cop you some shirts, man. This hoodie season is getting there. Bang, needagamingstore.com. Get you a couple t-shirts. Support the cause. Support a real man trying to make something of this Madden stuff. But we are in a matchup. This team I have, I think this is a great team because, one, I have Donovan McNabb. I have T.Y. Hilton. And I have Tyreek Hill. Two good, great receivers. I think Tyreek Hill is probably the best player in this mode right now. Want to start with a little bit of bunch, and we get sacked the first play. I don't know who this guy is. Strap him. I'm actually on PlayStation. As you guys know, I play Xbox. But I was like, man, let me hop on PlayStation. Pretty much to help Skimbo go ahead and, and scout some of the competition. We'll see who's up here in the top 100, who we got to look out for, and who he uh, has to try to avoid. And there we go. We see a little playmaker over there to Tyreek Hill. For some reason, that playmaker was so smooth, almost like the playmaker Kem. Maybe it has something to do with Tyreek Hill and T.Y. Hilton, but these guys really do get good playmakers. They're really quick, really hard to guard in this mode to have, you know, wide receivers that fast with that good route running. And this Corey Davis, man, this dude is a hog. I don't, uh, he's the Titans wide receiver. Only 88 speed, man, but he's 6'4", and he just played big for me, really. And I had Leonard Fournette running back. So this team I had really liked it. Uh, anytime you have a mobile quarterback, two good wide receivers, and a, a, a third big body receiver, first drive, we get a touchdown. A goon running back. I have Kyle Rudolph at tight end, who isn't amazing, but he's a big body. He can truck some people, fight for some extra yards. So offensively, I really like this team, man. Uh, defensively, the main thing I have is he goes up top, but we swatted away with Steven Nelson, who's just a, a cornerback for the Chiefs. Got 90 speed. That's pretty decent in this mode. Underneath, he hits a drag over here to number eight. I don't know if that's Tony Gonzalez, but he stiff-armed the hell out of somebody. He had Pat Mahomes at a uh, quarterback. But like I said, the main player I have is Derwin James, man. And and, and I'm going to go ahead and just use Derwin James on this mode just to have just that elite user in the middle of the field. To have that, I think it's the ghost of Madden uh, future with Derwin James, and he's like 92 speed or something. So to have that guy in the middle of the field is pretty amazing as he's whoo, almost comes up with a huge hit stick there on fourth down. But he's able to move forward. This is first drive of the game, so get him to fourth down on his first drive is is pretty awesome. Everything bagged up here, and Mahomes just make a crazy throw back across his body. Man, if Derwin had one more point of speed, I might jump and grab that one, but he makes a play over my head. So we get him in the red zone. The red zone is the dead zone if you're on defense, man. A lot easier to defend routes, a lot easier to, you know, squat down and not have to worry about getting beat deep. Here he goes. He tries to throw a corner route. Marlon Humphrey out there one-hands it, but he's out of bounds, man. Do not come up with that pick. But just gonna keep going, get him a third down, go ahead, hit this drag. He picked the wrong drag. The other drag might have got that first down for sure. But we hold him to a field goal, man. So 7-3, to three, all I got to do is keep scoring, man. One more drive to, uh, to end the half. Hopefully, he gets the ball to half, so I got to go ahead and go down here and get some points. Hopefully, take the whole draft or the whole time away, whether it's, you know, I get three or I get seven. Here we go, underneath throws to the flash. Kyle Rudolph gets wrapped up right there. But like I said, we're using the bunch, drinking the punch. Little mesh post, uh, a little boat, a bootleg mesh post, and I get sacked. This guy really rushed five people, six people. He really mixed up his defense. I don't. He tried to hit that out route there. He goes out of bounds. Get to a fourth down, and we go for this in route. He does a great job coming back down. User hit stick, knocks the ball out. I mean, he bagged me that drive. But even though I went for it there, you go for it there, honestly. Because I'm going to get the ball back before this game, before this half is over. 
So if I punted the ball, he could have milked the whole clock. So you kind of go for that just to get the ball back. And here he throws the ball away, which he should have took a sack, make me use a timeout. But he throws the ball away, kicks another three. That's one of the advantages to going for it there. Even though you turn the ball over there, you definitely are going to pretty much ensure that you get the ball back. And this is my getting the ball back. And let's see if I can go ahead and take advantage of getting the ball back here. As we see Tyreek Hill get busy on the kickoff. Great job by him staying, staying patient, making that tackle there. Tyreek Hill is a problem on this mode. McNabb, just shoe strength right there. Used to having Vic, man. And used to using Vic in salary cap or in salary cap and mutt, whatever it may be. Definitely changes the game as I use my timeout there. Get to 40 seconds. We're going to take off with Donovan again. Bang, we're going to use my timeout again here. That's because the clock's when I have 30 seconds, no timeouts. That's pretty good. Here, I just got a bad throw. I, this dude didn't even hold Y. I thought the throw would be a little bit more to the side, to the right, but it was kind of right up the field. Underneath, we're going to throw it underneath here to Tyreek Hill again. Boom, we get inside the 10, and this is just when I talk about rookie mistakes, man. If you guys watch the podcast, I mean, you guys should tune in to where I just air out players for making dumb decisions. And this is where I just, you know, I have 14 seconds. I pretty much have one throw into the end zone. If I get it incomplete, I could throw it again. But I snap here, and then my first read, because like I said, I'm used to Vic, is, oh, he has no spy. I can take off and get to the end zone. McNabb is not Vic. I get sacked. I do not get any points before half. Brutal mistake on my part. Brutal end of game or end of half situations. Not able to get that field goal, man. I would love to be up 10 to 6 right now, but instead I'm going into the half. 7 to 6. Definitely a mistake. Definitely a game changing mistake. One that I'm going to, you know, it's going to hurt me coming back. Especially if I give up three, I'll be losing right now. And when you do dumb shit, Madden punishes you. I swear, I swear, Madden punishes you. If you play dumb, Bad things will happen to you, Madden Wise. And see, he get the kick return right there. Man, we go ahead and get a block shed. We cover everything up. Nothing's open for him there on first down. He's close to field goal range already. Throws a slant over here to Julio Jones. Gets 10 yards. Now he's definitely in field goal range. I don't know who the kickers are in draft champions. I think they're a little bit too good, honestly. I wish we'd have like 80, you know, 86 kick power kickers in the mode. But he gets the incomplete right there. Get him to a strong third down. Let's see what we do. Get a little shed, throws a drag, bang, hit stick right there. Marlon Humphrey coming over the ball. Force him to another field goal. This one is a, what, 57-yarder? He's on the 33, no, nah, 47-yarder, I believe. There you see Rudolph making big plays, breaking some tackles. Anytime you get a big body to tighten him and give him the ball and truck away. Underneath this, my boy Corey Davis. I told you guys, he's a hoss. I guess and big bodies matter, man. Pause. But he's able to make some plays right there. And he screams at me on second down. Gets the sack, man. This guy really mixed up his four- and five-man pressures. Hit the wheel route to Rudolph. Breaks the tackle. Gets that first down for me. Bang. Another drag underneath. T.Y., that guy. between It's just a good team I have. Now, two speedy receivers and then two big bodies in, in Corey Davis and Rudolph. Underneath hit T.Y. Hill and get a, catch a little juke. So it's just, but this is pretty much a perfect offensive team, especially for Bunch. Hit another one underneath to, to, to uh, Tyreek Hill. 12 for 16, doing well. Another underneath to uh, Kyle Rudolph. Ah, Tippy toe the sideline. Bang, a field goal will give me the lead, but I really need a touchdown because if I kick a field goal, he can milk out this, the fourth quarter and get a field goal of his own. So I need to get a touchdown. It is pretty much vital that I get a touchdown here and we get sacked on first down, man. Linval Joseph got to me going in the fourth quarter. Hit the wheel right over here to Fournette. We're going to truck somebody. No, we get tackled right away. So this is a huge play right here, man. I need a touchdown. And this is where draft champions, I love the mode, man. You can freestyle. And that's what I find myself doing the best. I got to cook up a dot. Let's freestyle. Obviously, I have the curl over here to Hilton. He's not a big body receiver, man. So what am I going to do? All right, he's going to cover that. It's cover three. Look, I'm going to put an out route to Rudolph, put a flat to Tyreek. Tyreek's going to take away all the zones, and we hit this coochie spot right here to Rudolph. Great animation. Great dot to score a touchdown. Great job to go ahead and go up by five. That's huge, especially the guy that has not scored a touchdown in the game as we get a shed. That's Daniel Hunter shutting on the toss. Get him to a second down, man. He has not scored a touchdown, and now he has to score a touchdown. He goes for the lob on Fuller. Julio Jones will not out muscle Fuller. Perfect timing user pick. Breaks the tackle. And what that does, it changes the field position, man. I mean, obviously, I did not return it for a touchdown. But if I would have got tackled right there, I would have been at the 10. But just change the field possession. Next play, hit the post to Tyreek Hill, and he's out of there. Just that quickly, the game goes from 9-7 to 21-9. to 
and taking advantage. Great dot in red zone forced him to go up top. When when he was down, by needed a touchdown, forced him to do something stupid like throw it up, and that allowed me to go ahead and uh, make the play and, and end the game. Here he goes, getting hit, trying to throw that post route, coming back to him. Just got to keep him out the end zone here pretty much. Throws the post route. Ooh, Marlon Humphrey just whew, a little bit too slow right there. Threaded the needle there to Tony Gonzalez. Pops a little run. We're getting close to the two-minute warning, man. So if I get him to the two-minute warning and he doesn't uh, and he doesn't score, that's good. He's going to get to the point where he's going to get close to having to use his timeout, timeouts on offense or need an onside kick. Getting those sheds, man. Bradley Chubb with a sack. Second and 16. Here you go. Rolling out with Mahomes, man. Mobile quarterback on his mode is really valuable. Gets a couple yards. Nothing crazy. Six-yard run. Next play. Bang. Bait him a little bit. What did I tell you? Derwin James. Best player I have. I put him at user. 6'3", speed. We're going to go down, and that's going to end the game, man. He's going to tap out because we are up 12 points, man, and we had a ball. That's pretty much put it in the jar, put it in the fridge. The game's over, man. My draft's a lot of fun, man. Honestly, drafting teams is my favorite part, man. So I wish it wasn't six games we needed to play. I wish it was only four like it was last year. But I still enjoy playing the mode, man. Obviously, it's way different than Mutt, way different than Sally Cat, way different than Rays. It's his own mode. And, and we're going to see who's going to qualify, who's going to get into that top 96, and who's going to make their way out, man. Please hit the like button. Please comment on what your best Mutt draft team was.